What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the match review, match reaction and match analysis of the game between Manchester City and Watford in the Premier League which finished 5-1 to Manchester City. Before I crack on with this video though, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content and do subscribe. 23,000 subscribers, smashed past it, completed it mate. Aiming 25k subscribers, now less than 2k subscribers away from that goal. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link, that's in the description as well. If you want to go and follow me on there, that would be much appreciated. Partner channel links, they're also in the description. If you want to go and check them out and subscribe over there. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. 100 likes is the aim. And also let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So let's crack on then with this match review. We're going to very quickly go over uh, how this game went before I'll start to analyse the team uh, and what to expect going forward, in particular with that Real Madrid game in mind. So Manchester City, dream start, four minutes in, just what we were looking for, early goal, put Watford under pressure, easy anxiety around the stadium and to be fair, I think this is what Manchester City should be doing every single Premier League game from now until the end of the season. First five, ten minutes, launch an assault on the opposition's goal and try and get that first goal. If we get caught out on the counter-attack, we've got a lot of time to try uh, and make amends for that. But first 10 minutes, really push, try and get that first goal because I feel like that just really helped Manchester City to settle into this game. Oleksandr Zinchenko is the man that gets the assist, just drills it across. Jesus playing as Manchester City centre forward today in the right place at the right time, sliding in and putting the ball into the back of the net. Watford really weren't getting close to Manchester City. They did miss a massive opportunity. I think it was a Merritt Laporte that managed to get back and make the challenge because Manchester City were playing such a high line. It looked like a very disjointed high line. Cancelo uh, wanted to push forward so he wasn't tracking back. That was dragging Ruben Diaz out of place and it was stretching Manchester City's line. And Watford very nearly did exploit that before Manchester City managed to double their lead uh, in the 23rd minute. This time it was Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, with the assist for Manchester City, who else but Kevin De Bruyne and Gabriel Jesus putting the ball into the back of the net to bag himself a brace. And everything looked oh so comfortable for Manchester City. But then, 28 minutes in, Watford did get their goal. It was uh, Hassani Kamara getting the goal for Watford against the run of play. Cancelo further forward, Diaz stretched. Um, ball shot across Edison and into the bottom corner and assist there for Emmanuel Dennis and that was just five minutes after Manchester City had scored and so that gave Manchester City something to think about in how it wasn't going to just be all one-sided for City and then before half time we're looking to get that uh, killer two goal cushion back uh, and near enough put the game to bed and start thinking about making some subs in the second half this time an assist for Gabriel Jesus <laughs> definitely my JSGC man of the match for this game uh, to falls to Rodri Pick of the bunch, it's an amazing finish from Rodri, put into the back of the net. Perfectly caught on camera by my partner channel, JSGC Football. My brother went and covered footage over there for a match vlog for this game, so do go and check that out. The uh, link uh, to his channel is in the description. I also post over there as well. If you want to go and check out and like and subscribe over there. I've also done my own match vlog for this game. If you want to go and check that out, I was at the SEAD yesterday. And then half-time, all good from Manchester City. Second half... Watford's game plan completely undone from their half-time team talk. Jesus is brought down. Point Referee points to the penalty spot. It was uh, Foster in goal that uh, brought down Gabriel Jesus. And Jesus scored the penalty, which gave him the hat-trick as well, which was fully deserved, sending the keeper the wrong way. And then just four minutes later, another assist for Kevin De Bruyne and another goal for Gabriel Jesus. All but killed the game, gave Manchester City the three points, and it did allow Manchester City at that point then to make their substitutions. De Bruyne, Laporte, they came off. Gundogan and Ake, they came um, on to so giving a rest for them. So they're probably going to be starting in the game against Real Madrid and De Bruyne. Man City needs to be very careful about Kevin De Bruyne. Pep Guardiola has already confirmed he keeps getting niggles here and niggles there. Uh, and Manchester City were very reliant on De Bruyne in this game. I don't think Manchester City score five in this game if Kevin De Bruyne didn't start. That shows how important he is. He had a very good game for Manchester City yesterday, Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, and uh, we're getting to a point where we're not becoming reliant upon him. It's just we don't look as good without Kevin De Bruyne in the team. And with massive games coming up, we do need to make 
make sure that Kevin De Bruyne is kept in tip-top shape and he doesn't burn out towards the end of the season because that could be detrimental to Manchester City's season. So that's my area of concern. And then Man City, it comes as no surprise, started to coast. We had a real opportunity here to go and at least catch up all of Liverpool's goal difference, maybe even overtake them. But as it is, missed opportunity, went over 30 minutes without scoring a game. But again, that is just me nitpicking. Rodri came off in the 70th minute. Uh, he's played a lot of minutes for Manchester City, I will add. And he's another player that might need rotating for a game or two just to keep him nice and fresh. Because I think Rodri, uh, Cancelo, Walker, if he does come back uh, this season, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, these are the players that need to be rotated uh, and thought about carefully about keeping these players fit when it comes to these very important games. Because these are going to be very important when it comes to the crunch games, Champions League semi-finals, a potential Champions League final, uh, and obviously the running with the Premier League as well. But as a whole, it's a very good victory for Manchester City. Not only is it three points, we're now just two goal difference behind Liverpool. It means if Liverpool don't have a positive result against Everton in the Merseyside derby today, it does mean that Manchester City have got a little bit of daylight between ourselves and Liverpool. And we also uh, have a bit of daylight when it comes to uh, goal difference as well, uh, with us closing that gap. So the last thing I want today is Liverpool to go out and go and beat Everton by, what, three, four, five goals and we're back to square one. But it wouldn't surprise me if they did do that. But I'm hoping Everton, uh, with it being such a massive game for them, will really step up and make that a really interesting game. Again, that's, that's more hope than uh, expectation. Now, in terms of stats for the game, very good. Nearly uh, three quarters um, of the whole possession in this game was to Manchester City. 74% compared with 26% for Watford. City pretty good with their aerial duels and duels won, which could be very important in the game against Madrid. City had more corners. 21 shots, 8 on target, 5 goals. That is clinical for Manchester City. Uh, and something similar against Real Madrid wouldn't go amiss. The one thing I will say, if City give as much space to what we gave Watford today, and Watford played a very compact, pretty high line, which is what made this game so open. Defensively, they couldn't compete with Manchester City and Kevin De Bruyne and Gabriel Jesus. Um, but Real Madrid might be able to compete with Manchester City. And so if City are going to play that open, then we're going to get picked apart by some of their players. Players like Tony Cruz, Luka Modric, uh, Karen Benzema, Vinicius Jr., uh, Valverde, etc, etc. So Manchester City need to be very careful. And what I would suggest uh, is uh, Cancelo suspended, obviously. Uh, Manchester City could well go with a flat back four. John Stones at right back, Diaz, Laporte and Ake uh, playing at left back. That's four centre-back covering there for Manchester City. And Manchester Manchester City could choose to keep all four of them players back to try and compete with the threat of Real Madrid on the counter-attack and maybe just drop the high line back just maybe about five yards and keep more players back with Real Madrid's counter-attack problems in mind. Because if City limit the space and limit the opportunities of through balls to run at our high line, then I'm confident we can keep the score down against Real Madrid. And that allows us then to try and be nice and creative when it comes to creating opportunities in that game. That's my suggestion, my analysis from this game. City pretty good with their tackles. Uh, 25 tackles, a 64% tackle completion rate. Um, Manchester City, 700 passes in the game. Pass accuracy at 88%, always looking towards 90%. So not too bad there uh, and only Cancelo picking up the yellow card for Manchester City uh, but like I said as a whole De Bruyne was excellent he has to start against Real Madrid Jesus scoring four goals has now probably given himself a very good opportunity of starting against Real Madrid he liked playing against Real Madrid he's now just grabbed four goals in the game so he's going to be full of confidence so he may well start against Real Madrid as well and we managed to come out of this game with three points a really good um, push on to Liverpool's goal difference they're under pressure now for the Merseyside derby where it's a derby anything can happen I hope uh, and then we've got good preparation going into that match against Real Madrid where we're nice and motivated and uh, some of the players have been rotated some players have had a rest uh, and other key players have done an hour before having a rest like De Bruyne so to me this is the perfect Perfect result for Manchester City. The only thing that went wrong is conceding. <laughs> I did say 5 0. Uh, I put a bet on 5 0, so I'm pretty disappointed that it finished 5 1. But there we go. Now, Going on to my betmate who sponsored my preview for this game. Uh, I managed to finish second. I did change up my 11 uh, during the announcement of the team. So it's always worthwhile if you're going to be playing on betmate. Then do just uh, head on to the, where you've uh, placed your team. Edit your team an hour before kickoff when the teams get announced. So you don't miss out on anything. Uh, yeah, like I said, I finished second place. Um, Daz Willow, he ended up finishing in third place. Finishing level on points with me. So 
kudos to you. Craig finishing in fourth, Mick Sid finishing in fifth. But I want to give a very big shout out to the winner for the bet mate for this Watford game and winning. £25 as well. A big congratulations to you getting 68 points in this game, finishing a whole 13 points above me and Daz in second and third place, or joint second place, goes to McMocky7. So a big congratulations to you. Do enjoy the £25 which you can use on Betmate. The decisiveness in there is having Gabriel Jesus and getting four goals. That's decent. All I was thinking to myself for, for this game was if anyone's got Jesus and a captain, you're automatically winning this pot. Uh, as it is, um, McMocky is the one that takes Gary or Jesus and takes the point. So congratulations to you. Big shout out to you. Uh, and do enjoy the win. So there we go. That's been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. 100 likes is the aim to only help towards that. Would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget as well, to go and check out my social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Partner channel links there in the description if you want to go and check them out, including JSGC Football, which has done, uh, which my bro has gone and done a match vlog of yesterday's game against Watford if you want to go and check that out, including that belter of a goal from Rodri and the raw reaction in the stadium. Go check out my match vlog as well. That's up on my channel if you want to go and do so also don't forget to go check out my tiktok as well that's in the uh, description if you want to go and follow me on there posting regularly on there as often that i can uh, and also don't forget leave your thoughts in the comments below uh, and don't forget subscribe 23k subscribers we've passed 25k subscribers is the next aim less than 2k subscribers away plenty more football and manchester city content to come and i'll see you all again real soon so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now <laughs>